Hi Scorpio, welcome to your weekly love messages. These will be from the 21st until the 27th of March. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment on the channel if you feel like you need a personal reading. You can find all of those details down in the description box below. Otherwise, these are going to be general love readings. So that means they're not going to resonate with every single person. That's okay. The best way to make sure you don't miss out on your message each week is to hit that subscribe button and the notification button and you will get notified of the videos that are are relevant to you. Today we're going to be looking at your love situation, your feelings, your person's feelings, most likely outcome, romance angel and advice. I just want to say too, if you have sent me a, or you do send me a personal request reading, sorry, a personal reading request, and I don't get back to you in, the, in 24 hours, can you please just hit me up in the comments? I'm having all sorts of trouble with my emails going through to junk and I can't seem to stop it. It's very annoying. I'm trying to work out a solution, not very successfully. So if you hit me up in the comments, no one can see it other than the people reading the comments. No one can search you or anything like that on YouTube. That's the beauty of YouTube. No one can find your comments or anything. Um, unless they go into that video's comments, they can't search it via search engine. Last time I checked. Um, so yeah, just let me know that you've sent an email and I'll check my details. Um, I'll check my uh, junk mail and sort it out. Anyway, crap story. Let's keep going. Scorpio, love messages, please. Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio. I have a new deck too because I have a deck addiction. Can't stop buying decks at the moment. I'm like self-soothing by buying lots of tarot decks. Um, this is the Heaven and Earth deck for anyone that's interested. So the first card out is the Empress. <clears throat> A very gentle deck like firm but gentle it's really nice okay what else is happening for Scorpio please 21st to the 27th of March oh Scorpio someone's letting or someone has some regrets but wanting to release themselves from some mental anguish here, judgment coming through, making a decision to kind of release themselves from their own mental prison. I feel like for a lot of you, you're stepping back into your power. Yeah, look at the emperor, the empress. One more. Wow, yeah, there's decisions being made here. Big decisions. Mm. All right, we have a lot of Aries vibe here. This is Aries, Aries, Scorpio, Gemini, um, and Taurus energy. Okay. Clarify the two of wands, please, in reverse. Clarify the two of wands. Two of wands in reverse, please. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Hmm. It's like someone's deciding that investing in this is a waste of time. But why is there an emperor and an empress? Uh, tell me about the emperor, please. Give me three for the emperor. Okay, so this is someone that you've gone a few cycles with. Maybe lifetimes, maybe you've gone, yeah, look at this, lovers. Okay, so this is someone you've been on the karmic wheel with. You've gone around, you've had a few chances. You may feel like you know them from a past life if you haven't gone around and had a few chances, but you've definitely, whether you know it or not, you've definitely gone through um, some lifetimes with this person. Princess of Wands in reverse. But it's like... Communication never seems to get better between the two of you. Tell me about the Empress in reverse. Sorry, the Empress. Give me three for the Empress. Okay. 
So there's issues with communication here. Um, the Five of Wands. <clears throat> Not the Five of Wands. Yes. Um, the Princess of Swords in reverse. One more. Again, with the communication issues. It's like the two of you can't get on the same page with communication. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to leave, but again, you feel like you don't, you, there's no other option. Um, there may be continued fighting, like squabbling though. It's just little stuff. And that's why I kind of feel like the decision's been made that there's no, it's like this is never going to be anything more than what it is. That's how I feel here. You've got the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck, so. You guys are, this may be a twin flame situation. Oh, I feel weird saying that because they're not twin flame cards, but I feel like there's definitely this very powerful soul connection between the two of you. Let's not use the word twin flame because I know it's a bit triggering for people. Let's go with there's a very powerful soul connection between the two of you, and you've absolutely done lifetimes together with this Wheel of Fortune in reverse because it's like you keep having to try and learn the same karmic lessons. But in this cycle, one of you seems to have given up. And there's regrets around this. Or you're wanting to kind of release yourself from the mental imprisonment of this person. Or they are. Um, remember these are general love readings so they can the energies can go either way. Um, let's have a look at the Eight of Swords in reverse, please. What is the Eight of Swords in reverse? Again, someone wanting to come unstuck, the handyman in reverse. You're wanting to release themselves from this stuck energy because of feeling defeated. The Five of Swords. I hate this card. I actually don't hate it in this deck. We know that I hate this card. I will never make any kind of apologies for disliking this card in most decks. But in this instance, I quite like it because it signifies defeat rather than all the other things that this card can actually represent in a lot of other decks. So someone is really feeling like defeated, hopeless. You know that there's a very strong soul connection between the two of you. You both feel it. You're emperor, empress. These are these two embody all of the kings and all of the queens. Like you're the top tier. You have the lovers here. So there's no doubt that there is this divine, and even with judgment, this divine connection. But there's this... The piece has fallen out. There is this um, feeling of hopelessness. There's no other way to describe it. Give me two for judgment, please. Oh, I'm getting a blocked nose. Yeah, again, wanting to drop a pentacle to not wanting to go back and forth anymore. If this is something you have been going back and forth, Six of six of cups in reverse, not wanting to go back and forth and reconcile anymore with a seven of um wands really standing your ground this time or wanting to stand your ground this time. All right, so this could be either one of you make it fit like apply the energies how they fit. Um, if you need a personal reading to get into your particular circumstances and your particular energy, make sure that you do reach out to me using the information down in the description box below. Um, but just let me know if you don't hear from me in the first 24 hours. All right. Uh, thoughts and feelings, please, for Scorpio. Scorpio. This is making me really sad because the, the power of the connection between the two of you is undeniable. Um, but there's really big communication issues, and I feel like that's the karmic lesson. The two of you can't get on the same page with ideas and um, the way that you communicate. Two more, please. Thoughts and feelings for Scorpio. So you've got the Knight of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> yeah, not wanting to really um, make a commitment and wanting to keep your options open, Scorpio. Why is this? You. You got Page of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Is this a case of you, Scorpio, kind of saying that you're going to leave before they say that they're going to leave? Trying to keep your open your options open so that you don't get left with nothing? 
it kind of feels that way. <clears throat> All right, let's have a look at thoughts and feelings for Scorpio's person. Thoughts and feelings for Scorpio's person. Ten of Cups, wow. So they definitely see, wow, three of cups. This person really sees happily ever after. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the two things, the two pages or princesses that we got in reverse as under each of the, under the empress, let me use my words, under the empress and the emperor are the two pages that have now come out in the upright under feelings for you. Thoughts and feelings for you and thoughts and feelings for you. Now, if that does not tell you something, I do not know what will. So I would say that you're showing up as the Empress because the Princess of Swords is in reverse on this one and the Princess of or Page of Swords is in the reverse in the upright for them and that they are showing up as the Emperor because the Princess of Wands is in reverse for them and it's in the upright for you. Because in your thoughts and feelings, you communicate fine. But in their thoughts and feelings, um, sorry, in your thoughts and feelings, you communicate fine. But in their th thoughts and feelings, you don't. It's in reverse. See where I'm going with this? Yeah, yeah. You make them really happy. You make them happier than they've ever been here. With the Three of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. They see a happily ever after future with you. They don't want to be with anyone else. They see you as the person they want to build a future with. But there's this issue of communication. They communicate with a sword and you don't. You communicate with a wand. And the reason I'm sighing is because it makes me really sad because you're actually matched. Like this, again, this is a divine connection. All right. Most likely outcome here, please, for Scorpio. Most likely outcome for Scorpio. This might also, you've got to be kidding me, the Emperor. This might also point to a timing issue as well. Like when they're ready to communicate, you're not. When you're ready to communicate, they're not. Um, so maybe the two of you just can't seem to align in time frame as well. Keep going with your most likely outcome, please. So we have the Emperor. If we pull the Empress in the most likely outcome, I'm going to freak out. Three. Oh, close. Queen of Cups. All right. So this is telling me this Emperor is going... To be, yeah, potentially cutting things off. So whoever is identifying as the emperor and pulling that cup back because it's too hard emotionally. Yeah, look, they're wanting to release the toxicity of the situation. I think because of the communication issues, the communication has become toxic between the two of you. Now, that may or may not change, but for the time being, it does look like... Whoever is sitting in the Empress space is wanting to release that um, and makes a very quick decision to just cut this off. Give me one more, please. Most likely outcome. Yeah, because it's exhausting. They're exhausted. You're exhausted. Everyone's exhausted. You guys need a break. I don't feel like this is a forever break, by the way. <clears throat> I just don't. Apologies that I'm losing my voice. All right, advice. This is quite a long reading. King of Wands. So you could be doing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person really means it when they say that you make them very happy. But again, with the defeated card. Now, I know that this is different in this deck, but because it's shown up again and repeated... I'm going to read it the same way as defeat. So again, nine of cups, you are the wish fulfillment. They are your wish fulfillment. But the two of you just can't seem to get on the same page. And it's this feeling of defeat, like giving up. 
they just feel defeated. They genuinely mean what they say about you making them the happiest person in the world and vice versa. Three of Cups has come out twice in a positive way. Um, and this King of Wands just talks to you saying what you mean, being honest, being forthright, being truthful, being reliable, um, a person of their word. One for the romance angel, please. Don't forget, if you need a personal reading, I can't remember if I said this already. Sorry if I did. Just uh, check out the details in the description box below. This could be the one. Make the effort. Make the effort. I do feel like the two of you are matched. But there is major communication issues here. Like, major. All right, Scorpio, that's what I've got for you this week. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification button so that you don't miss out on your future messages. And I will hopefully be talking to you this time next week. Have a great week. Bye.